Hello everyone and welcome to episode 25 of Westeros Craft Walks with your host Dutchguard. Today we're here in the Vale of Westeros taking a look at Fotheringhay, which you can see there on the side to my right. And on my left here we've got our host and guide and leader of Fotheringhay, just call me Jack. How are you doing today, Jack? I'm good, thanks. Alright, uh, do you want to lead us through Fotheringhay? Yep. Let's go. Right, so we're just heading up to the uh, main, I guess, the village, through the uh, the farms and the outskirts with, with the little farmhouses. Okay, and uh, what's uh, what are the terrain uh, around us here, and wh where are we in Westeros in the Vale? So it's in the in the Bay of Crabs, um, north of uh, Rethermont, and south of Goldtown and Runestone. Oh, okay. Um, it's pretty, it's just mountainous, really. Yeah, you can see There's a not... giant mountain just ahead of me here, just stretching yeah. into the sky. All that behind that is just, um, mountain ranges, so most of the settlements are sort of on the coast, I guess, or up on the top of them. Oh, right, and this is one of those settlements. Yep. Very cool. And um, so how did Fotheringhay come about, and uh, why did you choose to build it? Um, just the location, really. That's why I chose to build it. For the uh, the castle, I had an idea as soon as I sort of saw it. It's just a holdfast for a runestone, um, ruled by... what's the house again? Uh, House, yes, House Royce. House Royce. I've lost you now. Uh, that's all right. Uh, I'm just here. <laughs> Keep going. Right. Walk wherever you're going. Um, all right. So, uh, Fothering Hay, well, you say it started out originally as a holdfast, but it sort of evolved and became its own. Yeah, thing? I got a bit carried away. So that's a huge settlement, a big, big castle, sort of a knightly house, I guess you, it would be. You know. All right. So this is the um sort of uh, where the villagers in um, Westerosi from other settlements around this would come and auction uh, cattle and other livestock. Ah, okay. So they'd sort of parade, I guess, to show them off in the middle. They'd be, be kept in these barns that are uh, back onto the fields. Them to graze them. Oh, I see. So there's loads of grazing fields around here for raising yeah, yeah. these livestock. So is this area sort of known for its its livestock and for its cattle, I guess? Yeah, it's pretty luscious terrain, mm. I guess. Yeah, I guess because it is on the, the foot of these giant mountains, they probably get lots of fresh yeah. water. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah like irrigating. the lake over there. Yeah. In the other village. Um, so uh, do you want to tell us so a little bit about... No, go ahead. So, uh, behind the um, cattle auction, the livestock auction, is the butchers. So they just they bring some over, some of the cattle over for consumption for the villagers and the and the knight who who was the All who right. was Very cool. Do you want do you want to tell us a little bit about the um, the style of the buildings here, uh, if that's typical for the area? Yeah, it's just um, sort of a typical Vale style, really. But the village houses uh, are a bit different. They sort of, whereas usually um, Vale houses that just stone normally, I've added wood on on the upper half to make it a little bit different, and that's been incorporated into the style for. Most of the runestone holdfasts and runestone uh, village itself. Okay, I see what you mean. So it sort of has these stone bases yeah. with wooden wooden tops. It's just a little bit different. Make okay. it a bit stand out a bit more, I guess, okay. from everything else. Very cool. All right, should we make our way to the the keep of the knight? Yeah, definitely. Is it a keep or a castle or what would you classify that as? I'd just be a keep. Uh, oh, don't really know. <laughs> It looks like it has sort of a main keep and maybe some yeah. out outbuildings as well, so probably yeah, like a yeah. small castle. 
yeah, it goes into the mountain quite a bit as well. Yeah, that mountain is so huge, just looking at mm. it. So, up here on the left, there's the sept in the septry for this settlement. Oh, there's a septry? The yep, yeah, up on, up here, there's the okay. septry. So oh. the villagers would go in the sept and pray to whichever, whichever god. Okay. This was done cool. by uh, SMP, I think. All right, and of course, since we are in the Vale, um, we're descended from the Andals, who of course brought the Faith mm. of the Seven to Westeros. Um, they probably built a sept everywhere they could. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go on the uh, we'll go on the least used track up to the castle. Okay, looks like it. <laughs> so this is just an abandoned tower. Oh, right. Yeah, there's a couple of, of abandoned buildings around here that you were showing me before. Yeah. Right? yeah, How, yeah. Why is that? Um, they just look really nice. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this would of... be disused, because it... I don't know when the last time the Vale was attacked. We're in a war. Yeah, the Vale sort of, you know, being one of the most defended and defensible regions of yeah. Westeros is very rarely attacked. Yeah. Um, I think the only attack I've ever heard of was uh, an attack on Goldtown mm. uh, during uh, the, the conquering of Westeros by Aegon. So, do you want to check out the stables? Yeah. Go around? Okay. So I built the stables because there's not much room up, up here at all. I tried to fit as much as I could into the sort of... So I built the stables into the, into the side here. Oh right, so this is really built, nice. built into the stone of the of the mountain above the yeah. castle. Very cool. Yeah, it does look very nice. Very, very nice. There's just storage sort of servant yard back here with a well into the uh, the kitchens to okay. serve food to the the great hall above. Is this? Are we in the and main keep now then? No, that's up there. This is just like a dining sort of area. Oh, I see. I guess. Yeah. Do you want to check that out, then? Yeah. Check the hall out. Whoops, almost missed the bridge. I think it's usually quite typical of Veil builds to have these sort of yeah, narrow, oh. tall halls. Yeah, I really love it. The nice yeah. ceiling. Yeah, you can the see room. in the, the, the shields and helmets of perhaps previous knights who, Yeah. Uh, Controlled feathering. Hey, this hearth is really beautiful as well. Yeah, this is it definitely is. very, very typical of the Vale style. You can see, you know, high chairs, long narrow tables, long narrow hall. Mm. It's sort of a it's miniature probably, Vale hall, but it does look very Vale esque. Yeah. It's probably my favorite part of the castle. Yeah, very cool. Check the tower keep them next. Okay. So, this is where maybe villagers would come in. Like pay tax, maybe. Okay, so this is the or lord, the, or not problems, the lord, but the, the, the knight would sit here, and, yeah, uh, and the legends would with, come in and. Oh, yep, cool. deal with all of his, all of the business he has. All right. With the butchers and the livestock, I guess he'd be overlooking all of that. Hmm. So this would be the children's children's room. Oh, okay. And they would foster maybe children from the village to bring them. All oh, right. So, does the knight have a family of his own then, or just a small, small family? Okay. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, I really right. love these um these bricks being used here. Um, mm. Sort of plastered bricks. Yeah, the white and the sort of reds and the dark browns is really nice. Yeah, I love that. It's really. Yeah. It definitely That's... sets this build apart for sure. Mm. This is just a. It's a very small tower keep, so it's just got a couple of rooms in it. Hmm. So this would just be the Lord's and the... not the Lord's, sorry, the Knight and his wife's room. Okay. The nice view of, I guess, the mountains. Yeah, beautiful view of the mountains. Look at that. They're all around us. <laughs> yeah, we are in the Vale, yeah. after all. Do you want to head to the top or go down? Um, let's go down, because I know you wanted to take me over to a different tower. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The rookery. Oh yes, that's what I was getting at. Got to show me the rookery. 
Yeah. Right. We'll have to head through the um the walls. Okay. Oh, stuck on something. All right. So it's sort of this castle, this mini castle, has a mini wall to defend it. Yeah. yeah. So the this would just lead to the barracks now through this mountain, sort of again like this. Oh yeah, for nice built, with the built the village below. Oh yeah, very cool. Nice. This is a bit darker than the rest of the castle. Okay, why is that? Poorly lit. Oh, it's just, just built into a mountain, I guess. <laughs> Cold, murky. It, yeah. And these are the barracks? Yep. Ah, I see. And the servants' quarters. Oh, wow. Still, it's just nice views. Yeah. And these windows again. Out onto the village and stuff. Yeah, very cool. I love that little pond down there. I didn't even notice that before. Yeah, yeah. That was good fun Good fun to build. Yeah, how long did it take you to build Fothering Egg? It's got to be about two months, maybe. All right. Yeah. And uh, did it take a while to plan as well, or was that relatively easy? I had to, like I said, I just had the idea of this whole sort of layout okay. as soon as I saw the terrain. Oh, cool. Yeah, so the terrain sort of informed and inspired you on how to build uh, the castle. Yeah. Very nice. So um, we just head into the the dungeons now. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I love these textures on these blocks. They look so dungeony mm. and dark and yeah. medieval. Yeah, definitely a great terrain set. Hmm. Yeah, the terrain sets are the names for the sets of blocks that we use um, in the terrain. It's actually just one block, and uh, depending on where you place it, it creates different textures. So uh, all of these different textures you see in front of you here are just the same block. Um, they just spawn as different textures, which creates these really cool color-coordinated um, terrain sets. Um, mm. What's in here? <laughs> oh, God. This is the, uh, it's the torture room. Okay, yeah, you can tell by the... <laughs> The flies and are, blood. Yeah, the flies and blood and the, <laughs> and the knife sticking out of this crate here. Yeah, that's pretty grim. <laughs> it's pretty gruesome. Mm. Come on, rookery, rookery, we want the rookery. Yeah, yeah. Rookery, rookery. We'll head over now. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty... It's a small castle, but it's quite a lot of walking. It's yeah, a, it is. a different place. <laughs> I feel like a dwarf. <laughs> walking through these different mo mountains yeah. and mines and tunnels and things. So this is just a small smith shard so you okay. um, craft helmets and swords and store them in the armory. Okay. Here. Very cool. Oh, nice. I like that. I like how you've put the shields behind the helmets. It sort of gives it a nice little yeah. effect. All right. right. We'll head up to the Rook Arena. Yes. Oh, I bet you get a great view from up here as well. Yeah. So this would act as a, I guess, if there were any um, attackers, I don't know how common it would be, coming over the mountains through the back of the castle, they could ring the bell. Oh, right. So there's sort of like a, a pass behind the castle yeah. that they might Yeah, there's come a few from. bear caves up there as well. Oh, is there? there. Mm, just in case there's bears coming down to yeah. attack the villagers and the, and the cattles. Uh, the yeah. prized cattle of Fotheringham. All right. I think, is that the end of our journey? Yep. Is there That's anything it. else you wanted to mention about Fotheringham? Um, <laughs> there's not much to know, really. The, <laughs> it's uh, one of the builds that we sort of have to create to fill in all this empty space that we've got between all the cannon locations. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's one of the biggest challenges for us is because we're working with a, a, a very exact scale of Westeros. Um, even mm. with the number of locations George R. R. Martin mentions in the book series, there's still lots of wide open spaces we need to fill up and make interesting yeah. to explore. And this is one of those. Um, and I think you've done a fantastic job. And thank you very much for Thanks. showing me through. No problem. Uh, right, so that's the end of this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out Fothering Hay in-game, just uh, log on using our custom launcher and do slash warp Fothering Hay. Um, I don't know how to spell that, but you'll see it in the title of the video. <laughs> <laughs> but um, again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.